And when we cut ourselves or break a bone, there is such a belief that it's going to get better. Cutting and breaking a bone is a lot more traumatic, a lot more traumatic than we realize. So much tissue has to reform, so much blah, blah, blah has to happen. But a sprain or an injury that lasts for months and years and years takes so much longer. Emotional trauma and all that good stuff. Exactly, emotional trauma, and that's the core. But if somehow I could, okay, I okay. If somehow I could get you to only point your ski tips down the slope that's labeled appreciation, and love, then in no time at all, it has to go away. Because everything in the physical body is a result of where your ski heels are pointed. Guilt, anger, fear, resentment, powerless, sadness, and so on. But the issue that I want to bring out, that we're not going to spend too much time on, but just an FYI, the issue is, is that we have so many belief systems that contradict that. We have so many belief systems that to heal this has to take forever. You know, that shoulder injury that he had, it took, it took that hockey player six years to heal that. It's not going to happen overnight. You know, like, mm -hmm. we have all these bleed, and by the time you stumble across this work, you've done everything, and you are so focused in your mind with that health issue. Like, there's so much focus there. But it sounds so weird to take the concept of, what if you stop looking at it? What if you just stop? What if you just stop? Which sounds so weird because... It's so opposite of the paradigm of healthcare that we have. Does that make sense? Jennifer's thanking you for bringing 